guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. Today you join me for an exciting video as I'm here down at Goodwood with the M140i for its first ever track day. Now as you can tell from, well, my lockdown haircut and also the fact that it's all over the place, I've been out already, hence the helmet here like I was saying, um, just to familiarise myself with the track. I've driven the track a number of times, the reason I've come back here is it's just a track which I know the most. Um, as you can hear, there's some cars going around, that is couldn't tell what that was, but there is a pista rolling around, which is an incredible spec as well. It's got carbon wheels and everything. Uh, so hopefully I get overtaken by him at some stage. But yes, the first track day with the M140i. Now, this summer at least, or this year, I want to do a lot of track days with this car and that will become more um, obvious uh, as time progresses. Um, so yeah, like I said, I've already been out for a session just to familiarize myself with it. So I think what we're gonna do now, hop in again and take you guys out because, oh, I love this track. And in this car, it's a lot of fun. So, we've got a bit of a setup in here if I hop on in. So, we have one GoPro there, one GoPro there, and one GoPro over there. I'm actually joined today by Ben, a friend of mine who's just started a YouTube channel, Driving With Ben. You may recognize that car, actually, because he invited me to his collection day um, back in, I don't know when it was actually, a couple of months ago now, but he's done a few little bits to it. Some started stripes and also one of my limited edition stickers, which you can get following the link again um, down in the description down below. But anyway, yes, we are all set up. Three GoPros already tethered on, uh, which you've got to have and obviously tethered on to some, well, up here the wing mirror and up here the armrest or arm handle up there. The sun looks like it's coming out as well, um, but it's actually quite a busy day today, quite a busy track day. Um, you see another session is just starting. Anyway, let's fire this thing up, head on over to the track and well, show you guys what an absolute machine this thing is um, out on track. <laughs> So, approaching the paddock we go. We're actually following Ben now. I'm not sure if you can see it from that GoPro or not. In his bright orange ST Performance Edition. Now, today, like I think I mentioned in the intro, it's actually a very busy day. This is one of the first track days um, after everything completely went to a stop for around two months. So there's a lot of cars here. So I imagine we've got a bit of a wait when we get up here, hence why I haven't got my helmet on yet. Um, yep, there is a massive queue. I've just seen it. Anyway, weaving around here. Hop in the queue. I can see an M2 competition up there. I think a piece is out on track, 600 LT as well. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And like I mentioned, we've already uh, been out for um, a, a pretty much a sighting session, I'm going to say. Uh, just to familiarise myself with the track. It's quite an easy track to remember, uh, but it is quite a quick track as well. It's the first time I've driven this on track in proper anger. Um, but yeah, basically we've done the Autobahn run right, right up the way to 160 mile an hour, I think it was. And now we're putting it on track as well. This is going to be the first of many track days. But anyway, <laughs> because I'm hiring a helmet from Goodwood, they've got these kind of um, protective things for your head, um, single use ones. So I'm going to put all this on. I don't look good, so be warned. Yeah. <laughs> it's not great. It's not great, but that's what you've got to do. I need to actually invest in a helmet for myself. But for now, you've got to put up with this. Um, anyway, hopefully we don't have too much of a wait. Uh, so I'll catch up with you uh, in the pit so we can get it in the right mode, get sorted and get out on track. Okay, here we are in the pit. Now the session that was before us has just finished. So we should be out fairly soon. Now, of course, we do have some housekeeping to do in terms of driving modes. Now for this session, I'm gonna be putting it into Sport Plus. Um, means that traction is kind of half off. You've still got a little bit of slip, but just a little bit of kind of helping hand if needed. Um, I think if I end up doing another session after this, in other words, when I do another session after this, I will try it with the traction off, I think, with everything off once I've got used to it because the sun is coming out um, and the track is nice and dry. So we're all ready. Uh, obviously we're gonna be putting this into manual. We've got the sport displays up there and we're pretty much all ready to go. Bit of loss of traction. Still a little bit down there on the uh, <laughs> on the exit, but here we are, out onto the track. Now, like I've mentioned, it is quite busy today. I think they've got about 10 cars on track at one time, obviously they do space them out. Um, but yeah, on the outward 
third lap, got Ben in front of me, so I can catch him up. <laughs> so yeah, I've already done a session, and honestly, this car is just so capable on track. Even though it's not really a track car, you do feel it is kind of sluggish in, in, in comparison to say like a Focus RX, which is obviously more hardcore in the hot hatch market. But with the diff fitted on this, you can just feel that back end is so much more predictable, so much more fun to drive, less skittish, and just, yeah, just a little bit better, I find, because I have experienced this car when the diff was open and it wasn't great, albeit not on a track. Anyway, coming up towards Lavin Straight, hopefully Ben will move out my way. <laughs> yep, let's see what we get up to. conveniently following. <laughs> Things absolutely rapid. Anyway. Here we go. Traction is off. Not sure how long it'll stay off, but it is off nonetheless. <laughs> now this is my third session today, so I'm definitely getting the hang of things. And the weather seems to be getting even better, which is good. <laughs> not just on the road either. <laughs> now there is a, a pretty good amount of grip, I'm not going to lie. The corner up there, which normally I do get the back end now on, was going nicely. It's just when you really plant it and almost force yourself to drift, that's when it properly goes. But with the diff, it just makes it so much nicer to do.
wrong, there's nothing that's going to stop me from, well, very much so going wrong. But still, I'm getting good pace. The brakes are feeling a little bit spongy again, probably because I am, well, I'm going pretty quick. But through there, there's a lot of grip. That was probably 80% throttle. Steer again, you can probably hear the tyres squealing. I say so much fun honestly so much fun this car completely comes into its own on track which I wasn't really expecting because it's not really the first hot hatch you think about being track focused or good on track but with that diff I tell you what machine absolute machine now the car is smelling very very hot so <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll give you guys a bit of a walk around um, let it cool down a bit before I do one more session for the day. Of course, I'm not going to be recording that though Because I think this video is already pretty long um, But yeah, we're collecting quite a few flies. I don't know if you can see that or not um, But yeah, hitting 140 every lap up there does take its toll. Now the tyres Fronts are obviously fine. Just a little bit of bubbling where it gets hot But oh actually <laughs> they're, they're boiling the rears um, Well, they are getting a little bit low and they're definitely gonna need changing after this um, yeah, definitely. But all in all, the car has been absolutely faultless. I've given it hell today, and I'm going to proceed to after I uh, finish wrapping up this video. But what a car. What a car. Another thing ticked off the list. I've done numerous track days here, none of which with my car. No proper ones. I've done some laps here before with my previous car, my Golf R. I didn't record that. I was here on another day and just happened to do a few laps. But this is the first time I've properly recorded me driving around a track in my own car. And what can I say? It's just so much adrenaline, so much excitement towards it. So much so that that's why I'm going to go back out in a moment. But anyway, for now at least, I think I'm going to wrap things up. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm sorry if it is a bit long and I'm sorry that I've looked like a mug for, I'd say, a solid 90% of the video. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures still to come. <laughs>